Sally Gunnell with a new British record. And into the final of the 400 metres hurdles. Well, the Olympic Arena pretty well packed. Looking around the huge stadium, very few seats available indeed. 100,000 people here for the biggest finals day so far. No less than eight being decided. And the first one to start will be the hammer, which is just about to start. Well, the level of competition, as one would expect in an Olympic final, is of the very highest quality. And I turn my attention immediately to Yuri Sedik of the Soviet Union, who really who won the Olympic title in 1980 with an Olympic record of 81 meters and 80. And incidentally, the three men who took the gold, silver and bronze in the Moscow Olympics in 1980 and who were prevented from participating in 1984, well, they're all three here again. And uh, the first of them is Yuri Tam. And Tam, now 31, uh, has got a best of uh, 84 meters and 40. But let me just say to you, Ron, that uh, the danger signals from Sedik came in training, didn't they, with a throw of 87 metres and 90, which was measured. Well, I wonder what, what uh, Yuri Tam thought about that. Well, uh, like their triple jumpers, they get them from that same mountain group, I'm sure. How they produce hammer throw after hammer throw of immense ability. And there's a nice little starter of 80 metres from Mr. Tam. Let me just talk over pictures for one moment, just to say that Elaine McLaughlin clocked a lifetime best of 55.91 in that second semi-final of the 400 meters hurdles but a massive uh, hammer competition underway whose origins of course are not greek at all they do go back 33 centuries greek athletics but the irish athletic goes back about 22 centuries and they started this back at the talcian games and uh, have produced a few uh, hammer throwers since then and it was great britain and the irish in particular that uh, gave this event to the olympic program there's an opener for you 80 meters, 91 centimeters.